I'm Vince and I'm converting this shipping container into a tiny house style home office. In previous episodes I installed the walls, the floor and the ceiling and in this episode I'm painting the container. I chose to use a paint sprayer rather than a roller to paint the container and that meant that I could just mask everything off and do a couple of very very quick coats of paint and then I could just peel off the masking and it would be complete. This is a product I found that I thought was going to be fantastic for masking off. What it basically is, is a piece of masking tape that's already attached to some plastic. And when I found this, I thought it would be really, really handy. So you can just stick it on and you've got your plastic attached. I thought it'd be really great, but it's not. Because when you pull more than a little bit off the roll, it just sticks to itself and it becomes really hard to use. So I think the best way really to mask off is just with good old masking tape and sheets of plastic. Now everything I don't want to paint is being masked off, so I can come in here with the spray gun and just paint everything very, very quickly. I can give it two or three coats if I need to. And when I'm done, I can just peel the masking tape off and the plastic off and uh, the, the whole space will be painted. So that's exciting. So spraying paint is a very, very messy job. So I had to make sure that I covered up as completely as I possibly could. And another major, major point that I have that I'd really like to tell you all about is to use a forced air respirator. And that's really in any kind of dusty environment or if you're painting. Because if you just have a face mask, then you are actually still pulling particles in around that face mask. Whereas a forced air respirator is sucking air in with a little electronic fan through the respirator. And that is clearing out all the particles and then pushing air. So you've got a, a positive pressure inside the mask. So at the end of the day, I'm not pulling little bits of paint out of my nostrils. It's all clean air and that makes a huge, a huge difference. could have been quite a long task. It took two or three coats in total to get the whole thing painted. And the paint sprayer is drinking about 10 liters in about 15 minutes. So in the end, it was very quick. It could have taken a lot longer if I decided to do this with a paint roller.
I can't say that painting is my favourite job or probably anybody's favourite job, it was really quite satisfying to start peeling off the uh, masking tape and the plastic and to see the clean white sockets and the white walls and to start seeing this project that I've been working on for months at this stage start to look like a finished, finished and viable workspace and it was really, really enjoyable, really satisfying. Thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, I'll be installing some flooring, but for now, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe right now. If you've got any questions or comments, please pop them in the comments below. Also, if you've got the means to support this channel, there is a link to my Patreon in the description, as well as a link to my Instagram. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next episode.